Hello my art loving friends. So this box here was sent to me by Jake over at Doomsayer Design. So I will link his channel down there. And we have this new thing called Art Box Takeover. And what the idea of this is, is that we just keep sending on random art supplies to the next YouTuber and the next one and so on. And basically just create a fun community of YouTubers doing random art and having a good time. So let's see what's in here. I only have a little bit before I have to take off for class, but I cannot wait any longer to find out what is in this box. What am I going to have to create with today? We will find out. Okay. First thing is this traveling sketchbook. <laughs> So the idea of this is that he did the cover and that first page, very nice. It's not awesome, it's incredible. He's a great artist. And so I get to do a page and then I send it on to the next person and it just goes around the community and eventually we'll get sent back to him. Let's see what he sent me. A gold line watercolor studio pad, scrawler box. Okay, he must know that I love watercolor. It's not hard to figure that out. <laughs> So 90 pounds, pretty thin. Let's see what else is in here. So oh, this is a mix of cotton and lignin-free cellulose. Acid-free with excellent archival qualities, internally and externally sized, makes each sheet very absorbent, suitable for lots of media. Okie dokie. What do we have? Oh boy. <laughs> you ready for it? Let's move that off over there. Get this. I got a straggler in there. A smooth writing pencil for office use, HB. Okay. Ooh, Archer and Olive. These are so fun. I believe this is a color I received in a subscription box already and I tried these and loved them, but I will go find out in a minute. Jelly Roll. This is that two-sided, I don't know if this is Kiritaki or Paintbrush, round size, six, Princeton Heritage. Windsor & Newton, watercolor marker. All right, what color is that? Burnt Umber, Marabou Art Crayon. I love these, they are so much fun. That is in the color Caramel. Another Marabou Art Crayon in the color Terracotta. Well, this should be incredibly fun. Do you guys have an idea of what you would do with all of this? <laughs> this is obviously kind of a separate deal. I think I'm supposed to create stuff out of that and then do my page and send it on. But yeah, it's kind of a neat sketchbook. Very cool. When this book is done, contact Doomsayer Design so it can be returned. Very nice, very nice. I'm going to do some thinking. I'll be right back. I figure we should try all this stuff out. And this pencil came not sharpened. I received this as a Christmas gift <laughs> a long time ago and I have never used it. At least not that I remember. So I don't even know if I know how to use it, but I figured this would be a good time to use it. Do I know what I'm doing? No. Like, is it supposed to just stop when it's done? Oh, I, yikes. Hmm. Oh, I see. It goes it goes all slack when your pencil's sharp. That's so cool. Oh, wow. Look at that point. Ha! Oh, that's neat. And there's all your shreds. I'm going to go ahead and dump that because I'm going to put this back in the drawer. And the drawer had this in there on its side, so <laughs> I don't want to accidentally spill all that, but wow. Very cool. Okay, let me swatch and play. So I remembered the Marabou art crayons being creamy, but when I first put them on the paper, because it's been a while since I've worked with them, I was like, whoa, <laughs> these are like super creamy. And then they didn't re-wet or dissolve in water as well as I remembered. So that was kind of interesting. And then that Windsor & Newton Pro marker, eh, I don't know. It was cool when I put water down first and then put it over it, but the rest was just eh, so-so. I don't know how people use them, but... I should probably look that up. And that black marker, I'm, I know I'm way past that in this time lapse here, but it was really neat because it dissolved in water really, really quickly. And so I think you could do a lot of fun effects with that. In fact, I will show you in my little time lapse here exactly how I worked with that black one. And I really liked it. 
So let's talk about this art box takeover for a minute. So this was started by Jude's Art Desk. She has a channel here on YouTube. She sent the first box to Jake, and I probably explained this a little bit again at the end just so you can get a rehash, but she sent it to Jake over at Doomsayer Designs, and he's passing it along, but he added the sketchbook to it, which is the traveling sketchbook. And the idea of the traveling sketchbook is that every YouTube artist that this art box takeover gets sent to does a page or sketches out a page in this sketchbook. And at the very end, when it's all full, it gets sent back to him and he'll do a video on it, I'm sure. And in this video, I don't get to the traveling sketchbook. I only use the supplies that he sent me for the art box takeover portion, but I will do a special video over on my Patreon site for that. So if you have not heard, I do have a Patreon site and you can sign up and get some extra videos. It says only one a month in the tiers, but I think sometimes there will probably be more than one extra video a month because things like this come up all the time. So in the description box area below this video, I will link Jude's Art Desk and Doomsayer Designs for you if you want to go check them out. I know Jake does a lot of subscription box openings, although I know he has unsubscribed to several, and I think Upgrade might be the only one he's currently subscribed to, but don't quote me on that. Anyway, he's got a fun channel. He is an amazing artist. And I am new to Jude's Art Desk, so I can't tell you a whole lot about her channel, but it's linked below if you want to go check it out. So I think this is a super fun idea, and what a great thing to start, because it brings the YouTube community together, hopefully gives you guys something really fun and interesting to watch, because who knows what we are going to send the next artist. And I would love to send it to you guys too, but it has to be sent to somebody that can do a YouTube video. So I will be choosing somebody at the end of this video that I know has a YouTube channel that will do a video on this, so stay tuned for that for sure. All the videos that are in this series are supposed to be hashtagged with the hashtag ArtBoxTakeover, so you can go search for that hashtag and hopefully find all the videos. So far, as far as I know, Jake's video is the first one because Jude had to send it to him first of all <laughs> to get something going on, and mine is the second, so the person I send it to after this will be the third person and it'll just continue from there. So definitely follow that hashtag to follow the journey of this art box takeover. So fun. So back to the artwork just for a minute. You can see how the Marabou art crayons work. That's layers one and two. The third layer, the dark brown layer, is the pro marker, and this layer is the black layer. And you can tell that the brush marker part of that, it's actually a brush. So it's kind of a paintbrush that will spread out. So the ink doesn't come out of that brush very well. It only works really when you use that brush in a very fine point, like I am around those hills right there. So I was hoping the water would definitely spread this ink out more because otherwise it's gonna be a big headache. And it sure did, thank goodness. And I do have a few lighter spots, but I figure, hey, it's dusk. There can be some glow in the sky, and why not? There's a moon there, I mean, after all. So then I did try and use the Archer and Olive acrylic paint marker to go over some areas and later after that I do try and use the white jelly roll and it's just not good guys. It's not good. I think it should be tossed probably. I don't I've often had trouble with those and I thought it was just me because I've seen other people use them successfully but this one this one just didn't work out well and so I tried the acrylic paint marker instead but I really wanted that white highlight around some of the areas so I do go back and try and use the jelly roll again and I try and just press more gently, like barely put any pressure on it at all, and it does kind of work better, but you know, I actually end up throwing it away at the end. I just don't think that it there's any good left in it. And at the beginning, I was debating whether my moon should be the first layer or the second layer, and I couldn't decide, and I did it the first color layer, the caramel, and then later I'm like, I think it does need to be a little bit of the terracotta in it with that art crayon, so I did add it in and kind of blend it together, and I think it worked pretty good. And here I'm just adding all the pokey things on the cactus and finishing it up, basically. All right, that was fun. So that yellow caramel is way brighter than I expected it to be, but that's okay. It works well for the sun color. I just should have toned it down, I think, back there in the background a little bit, but that's all right. Anyway. I pulled out my other Marabou art crayons to see if I had these colors, and I don't. So I'm going to keep them in my collection. See, here, these are the ones I already have, and 
These two are new colors for me and they actually fit in the jar. How lucky is that? <laughs> All right, here we go. All untaped. That was fun. Did four layers and I didn't even try to put water over this. They, it just doesn't move that much. So I didn't think that was really worth putting water over there. So I don't know what people do with watercolor markers. Maybe the watercolor coloring books. This thing is horrible. <laughs> Maybe it can pass along to the next person, but really I think it should just go in the trash. <laughs> oh well. So this is the Art Box Takeover and a channel I've recently discovered. There's a couple of them, but I just want to see what Maggie with Creating Cute Art will do with the box that I sent her. So Maggie, <laughs> email me your address. I'll go look on your channel too to see if you have a PO box or something. So you, are getting the next box from me. So I have to go through my supplies and decide what I wanna see you work with. Go check out those other channels that I mentioned during the time lapse. Jude's Art Desk is the one who started this. It went to Jake at Doomsayer Designs and now to me and now it's going to Maggie at Creating Cute Art. So check out all the links in the description box below for those channels. Subscribe to them if you like their content and appreciate you joining me today. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye for now, absorbent. <laughs> Internally and externally sized makes each sheet very absorbent. How come I can't say that? What is it? Dang it, I dropped it. <laughs> Whoa, I just can't keep things in my hand today. Wow, I'm just throwing things all over. <laughs>